in the middle. Mouse is in the middle right now. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing? Today, we will be talking about virtual DJ, the basic use and parameters of virtual DJ right here. Local music. You want to find out where you want to get your music from. And here it is hey, if you see this right here, it says Weapon Virtual DJ. Make sure you click that right there and it'll take you to this screen right here. Um, this is loop mode. This is effect mode, flanger. Um, there's all types of different things there right there. It's a beat count uh, of four measures uh, or a loop count of four measures, as you want to call it. You in and out loop. Also, the loop adjustments here. Also, STRS uh, PD here. Also, you want to, uh, these are the pads right here that you can use. A lot of hot cues uh, uh, are inside of here, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And 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 we're gonna have a lots of fun today, showing you how to use virtual DJ here. And once again, make sure you gotta know where you want to get your music from. Over here is where you get started. So if your music is in um, C drive or maybe your PC or your your desktop or maybe it's on a USB drive, thumb drive, flash drive, whatever you're gonna get it from here. So uh, mine is here in the new folder. I'm gonna drop this right in the record right here. Uh, there's something a track that I uh, actually produced. So if it's not uh, mastered, please forgive me. I uh, wanted to use something that I knew that I wouldn't get in trouble for. So here we go. Right here is the uh, beats per minute. You also have um, you know 85.4. This these are are actually they're not the same record, but they have the same speed. Because I think when I made them, I just made them one back to back and left it on the same track. But and you can drag it up, down. You can speed it up, you know, slow it down. However you want to do it here on Virtual DJ. Um, you have so many parameters, so many different types of knobs that does pretty much everything you need here. It's just not the first Virtual DJ. This one is very in advanced. Um, you can change the screens here. You can have four to six records playing at the same time. So many different things. You're going to start playing this record here. Uh, and also, that's play, pause, stop, cue, sync right there. Also, over here is the game. Turn it up. This track, like I said, is not actually mastered, so you really can't hear it. Like you should hear it. But I'm going to show you how you can enhance the track as well here on Virtual DJ. I'm going to play this from here, too. They see right here with this mixer on the side next to this video. But it's a crossfader right there. You know, uh, this side here goes to this record, and this side here goes to that record. Very easy, very simple. Together, they eat two different records, but the drum track, snare drum, is the same. And they're both playing right So, no more clashing. You know, they're not fighting each other. They're not in sync, but at least the drum and the kick is changing. Now, right here, like I said, you can play around with a little mastering here. Got the filters here. Uh, high and your lows. It's not gonna change it a lot, but it will make it sound a little better. So we're gonna mix this up and make it sound just a little bit different. Just a little bit. A little lows. Put a little bottom in it. Again, 
that's uh, that's what you say here. Uh, filter. Back to the crossfader. Highs mix right on in.
again, once again, as you remember up top, put those bars together, those blocks, they got a blue, and she had those blocks are off, and the beat is actually all Second. You may want it all, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing screw and chop, or you're doing slow and throw as music, as they say, you want to maybe throw it off just a little bit, um, a lot of people do that, and that depends on what you're doing, and, and, but you know, if you want it synced up together, you can uh, just make sure that the blocks are on top of each other. Wearing that back spin out, right? All right, I appreciate everyone listening. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I hope that you um, enjoyed this tutorial. And please subscribe. Click that button for me and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time.